Hello over now there on the internet, I am Jack of All Trades, and we are here for My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 2, Spectre. Last episode was a good start to the season, um, I'm glad that with sort of Season 6 and now Season 7, um, they've done away with the anime-only um, recap episodes, that instead we are just going into the show uh, and into the main story. I did enjoy those anime-only episodes, but... Like, let's not do the filler, and let's not do the rundown of everyone's quirks all over again. Things are important, big story, things are happening now, let's keep keep going. Uh, we met Star and Stripe, we learned of her quirk, New Order, which I haven't fully wrapped my head around, but, like, she's a reality warper who can assert two new rules on something as long as she names it and touches it. The name has to be an agreed-upon perception of the item. So if she touches a rock, the, rock's ha the rock has no self-perception, self-determination, so it's just her. She says rock. It is a rock that works. If it's a person, she and that person need to agree on that person's identity to a certain extent. Uh, they need to have a unified perception of its name. So with Tomura being the mess of himself and all for one right now, that didn't quite work on him. Uh, she can do two rules at a time. One, she is act she is constantly doing on herself. We don't know what that is yet. And then she's just sort of casting other spells, <laughs> other rules uh, as she fights. We know that all for one wants her quirk, which makes sense because it is it it is broken. Deku's back at UA. There's a new OP and a new ED. The new OP had a lot of cool visuals in it that I missed a lot of because I was so distracted by Shinso. I was so distracted by Shinso. With seemingly a like prototype hero costume beyond the UA like PD kit with the mask. Uh, and the capture scar. So yeah, let's 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 dive on into this episode, and I'm gonna pay extra special attention to that OP. <laughs> Again, I have watched the entire anime up to this specific episode that I'm watching in this video. I've read the entire manga up to the end of chapter 328, which is volume 33 of the manga. Uh, I have watched the first three My Hero Academia movies. I've read the Ultra Analysis Guidebook. I have read the first six, and I think only six, volumes of My Hero Academia School Briefs, the light novels. And I have read all 15 volumes the entire series, My Hero Academia Vigilantes, the sort of spin-off prequel, uh, which is a fantastic little series. I, I, I loved it. I felt a bit sad when I finished it. Uh, but that is everything I know, and that's what I'm going to be discussing and pulling from in this video. Uh, yeah, 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, little little recap, little flashback to before they took off. Uh, before, before they took off. <laughs> <laughs> cool. She's got a good relationship with all these guys. It's gonna hurt all the more when they die. Like, I feel like... In any, in any other show... In most other circumstances, I'd say, okay, cool, here's this new character we're introducing who's going to stick around for the season and going forward in the story. But she's already fighting Shigaraki basically one-on-one, -on -one, with these guys backing her up. But I don't feel like she's going to win. I don't feel like she's going to walk out of that fight. Yeah, okay, we got all of, all of 1A. Quick shots of the heroes, other students. Her eye and her guys looking at the stars. New one-for-all sort of flying by the colors. Shinso and Monoma, Hawks, Edshot, Best Genist, Somewhat All Might, Totally Toru, Spinner, and Meta People. It, it goes by too fast for me to say it all. Um, but we got, there's there's Mike and Eraser there with Shirokumo, Shigaraki, um, sorry, Kurokiri still bound in Tartarus behind them in that visual. Okay, I love that one of Dobby <laughs> with Lil Toya beside him. Bakugo with, like, new mounted stuff on his shoulders. And then, yeah, just this great, great shot. It feels so, like, hopeful of all of 1A teaming up here. And I love that it, the, the shipper in me 
I love that it's, um, for one, Jiro getting focused, but Jiro and Kaminari sort of running up beside Deku to, like, start off that shot is great. And then the, the discharge of electricity and the sonic boom is then you push through to the next bit of the shot. It's, it's, it's just great. Ah, okay. Hi, the sonic missiles. So that's, that's what was getting called in from Japan that we alluded to last episode. Right, right, right. Okay, so she's just holding him down for the missiles to come in, right. Yep, yep, yep. She's splitting the sea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're, they're all, all prepared to die here. <laughs> oh, so strong that it pulled her off the jet. Redirected. Oh. <laughs> 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 the cloud split. Oh. Endeavor Hawks and Genist aren't too far, but also they're not far off the coast. Did he go underground? Oh, burning corpse. Yeah. <laughs> That's good and scary. Okay. Yep, yep. That makes sense. Ah. Wait, where'd that gnome come from then? Oh, yeah, no, it's the gnome who's riding on. Right, right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, good. He's... Like, think, think where Shigaraki started. Think where he was at the end of Season 1. To this. And I think the, the cracked, like, irises almost leaking into the rest of the eye design. Is that overflow of power similar to... The second movie with Deku and Bakugo ending up like that. Spectre. Right. Right. Okay. That, that makes sense with the bureaucracy brought up last season. Okay. You intended to do it that way around, but it seems like you're getting New Order first. Oh, that's the effect, taking the quirk. Is it gonna work? Catherine Bate? Is it the rule? She just put in an, a, a, a last rule there? Uh, okay. He's got it. <laughs> oh. Her vestige? Does all quirks have a vestige, kind of, now, we know? <laughs> Crazy place to put the advert. Oh, I like the new All Night art. I like that a lot. My quirk's rupturing. 
Oh yeah, she's she's gone. <laughs> Will oppose other quirks. Okay. So within him, her 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 vestige, her quirk is refusing to be used is refusing to be used. I, I like her theme, it's, the, it's our triumphant, very American feeling heroic tune. Oh. It's, it's totally a Akbar, right? We just, we just couldn't use that name. <sighs> Or maybe it's a localization thing, like JoJo's. Mm. So he's got to find someone else to pawn this off on? Yeah. H how did she know that that would work? Is my only thing. That feels like a big gamble on her part. Because, like, we didn't know about the whole work vestiges thing until recently. Right, right, right. All the quirks that all for one and Garaki had stored up that would be a good fit for Tomura getting getting destroyed. Okay. So is he is he potentially going to get knocked back down and only have this one quirk then? And it's a quirk that he can't control. I, I like this a lot more than I thought. I was worried that from a writing perspective, Horikoshi's like, okay, I need him to have this power. So I'm going to just write in a hero to come in for him to beat. But instead, it's, it's, it's a hindrance for him that he's got this power. I like that. Oh. No, the Nomu's back. Did it regenerate? The Spectre of All Might. Right. Oh no, he just he just grew wings. Okay. I saw swing quirk from the dead Nomu before I exploded. Right, right, right. Sure, but the, the the star vestige, the new order vestige, could potentially destroy the the the, the, the wings quirk within you, and then you just you'll just fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that it's not all might though. It's what all might has inspired in others. Damn, they all going down? Nope, they just got pushed back. Okay. I was really expecting either them all to die or like all the pilots to die and start to at least make it to the mainland. But no, she's she's dead. And there's red, white, blue, and yellow confetti. Dang. I do wish we as an audience had known her for longer. Uh, destroyed port. Is this the island from the second movie? I don't think so. Actually, no, it wouldn't be that island anyway. Oh, the long hair. Because they were they were so close to the mainland in that fight. A spectre. <laughs> Is he just gonna? Is he just on a rampage and have to steal a quirk strong enough to beat off the order? Yeah. Oh, look at his legs! Look at his limbs! Yeah. Yeah. Including all for one. Yeah. But no, so he couldn't just pass the quirk on there and said it, it decayed too, it crumbled away. Mm. They, they look like they're dehydrated. Is Shigaraki a vampire now? 
その日のうちに世界を革命にした。うん。派遣の取りやめ。ああ、ビスカイ。サワーメン。ヒーローの損失は、地獄の破滅につながる。その手は、遠くの誰かを救える。Okay. ジパンスの次の日。The next day, two days left on the timeline. Right, okay, yeah. So it was the fight, then day, and now we're here. Yep, yep. Yep, he is, he is severely weakened. But the body will be complete tomorrow. And he's able to just keep stealing quirks. Rocklock. Well, well, who puts the cat has confirmed survived. Good. Gang Orca, Fat Gum, Team Lurkers. All out war. I do like him with the longer hair. It's a, it's a very good look. Toss. Six remaining near high end nomus. Survivors of the Mental Liberation Front. And the jailbreakers who haven't been caught yet. Yep, yep, yep. Namely, that we know of is just Moonfish, I think. And Stain. But Stain's not going to be fighting on the side of the villains. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
everyone time to get stronger to be able to fight him. It looks like next episode we're going to get Midoriya sparring with everyone from 1A, so everyone getting a chance to fight him. Uh, that'll be fun to see. Um, but yeah, again, my initial worry here was why why bring in Star and Strike here? You're either introducing this new character who is, when we found out what the quirk was, fucking OP as hell. Um, which does help balance things, because again, at the start of season six, it's like, yeah, Shigaraki is unbeatable. Um, and then All for One got out as well, and it's like, okay, there's basically two All for Ones out and about now. We're screwed. So, okay, bring in this really strong character. But it was kind of out of nowhere. They weren't really set up. The reveal that they were that little kid from the opening scene of the first movie is fantastic. I love that so much. Uh, and then the pick of All Might, her, and David Shield was great. Uh, that photograph. Uh, but now um, we know and she sacrificed herself and everything. She she is, she is dead. And the vestige of her that was then within the Tomura all for one hybrid thing um, is is dealt with now as well. That's that's gone. So that quirk that was fucking crazy is just off the table. New, new order is gone. It was mechanically used within the story to set Shigaraki back a good bit because he was already near complete at the start of season six. And then we found out at the end of season six, there's only three days left till he's going to be done um, and functionally, properly, truly unbeatable, basically. But now he's lost a bunch of the quirks. He's severely damaged, but he's got his regeneration, so he's probably physically okay. And again, tomorrow he will be physically at that point of being complete. But he has lost a bunch of the quirks that he had. He's going to be able significantly weakened on that front in terms of what abilities he has. Uh, so All Might and 1A were saying we're going to use that time to, instead of let's go attack now while he's weakened, is now we'll strengthen ourselves too. Which I like. Rather than running in guns blazing, not even knowing where he is. <laughs> but then Stars, Bros, all getting that info as well. Like, here's some intel on Shigaraki that we got from that fight. So again, just continuing to help bolster our side with the heroes. Yep. That's that's me for this video, I think. I'm Yeah. I'm ready to go into episode three. So if you want to see that video, it'll be on screen as soon as it is done and uploaded. So you can click that link now to go watch it. I've been Jack of All Trades, and I'll see you there. Bye.